Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm good. Good. Okay. Okay. Say, say your name. I'm Tyler Davis. Okay. I'm a freshman journalism major from Jacksonville, Florida. Okay. And you are a part of the live movement. I am. The live movement. The live movement. Mm -hmm. I just got corrected about that. You think I'd be better with that. You're a part of the live movement. Exactly. I am. Okay. Yes. All right. So first of all, how is your well-being? Um, I'm okay. I've been in my dorm for like two days now. So I'm, I'm pretty good, actually, all things considered. 34 days. Mm -hmm. Okay. So describe to me that emotion that you felt when everything was done. Um, I had just woken up from a nap when they had said that we're having a meeting. So I was a little out of it. And then we went to the meeting and they were like, hey guys, we're gonna leave this building probably tomorrow. And I was like, oh. It's kind of like a very surreal moment of like, I did not think we were ever gonna leave this building. We were, we were always planning to be there as long as possible. So even that day, we had been planning like, okay, what are we gonna order for breakfast tomorrow morning? Or what are we gonna do for food on Tuesday? And like, okay, what are we gonna do? It's supposed to rain on Thursday. What are we supposed to do then? Like, we had been planning for stuff like so far in advance that all of a sudden for them to be like, you don't need to do that anymore. We're done here. We were like, oh, I no longer know what to do with my day, actually, but okay. Okay. Now, let's back just for a second. How did you get involved? Like, how did the live movement start? Um, I don't know how the live movement started. You would have to ask the founder and I of mine. I got involved. Shout out to her. Yes, yeah. I got involved with the live movement when they did a joint meeting between the Howard chapter of the YDSA, um, which I am a member of, and she was talking about it, and I was very excited about the actually getting into the community part and like the mutual aid and all of that. So I signed up for that um i have done a few mutual aid like sundays which they do every sunday um and now i am a member of the national legislation team for the what for the living movement and how does it feel that be a part of organization of change with black women at the front as a black woman very great <laughs> very good um i have always been told and i've always like wholeheartedly believed that like black women are the face of of everything or even if they're not the face of it they're there in the background or behind the scenes so for people to know and not not only know but see that it's me and other fellow black women at the face of something this big and like this life-changing is kind of incredible now I know because I was I watched the IG just like millions of us did that the terms are confidential correct okay and you can't be transparent about it. Correct. But the Live Movement has been transparent about everything that's been happening as far as the conditions of dorm and things of that nature. Now, my personal thing is that sounds like something university-ish, that maybe that was a decision that they made to not disclose some of it. Are you comfortable with that? Like, is, 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 can you say, like, that's the reason, or is everything fine when it comes to that? Um... I honestly, like if I'm going to be completely honest, don't know the exact reason why our contract has to be confidential. I know for a fact that it does have to be. I know for a fact that it was not something that we chose and that it was something that it just has to be. I do know that if something happens that is in that contract and the university does not follow through with what they wrote in that contract, it then breaks the contract and then we can put the whole thing out for the world to see. But until that point, if we were the ones to say anything about the contract, that would also break the contract, and then we can't hold them accountable for anything that they do. Thank you for breaking that down, because people need to know. What does this mean for Tyler person? Um, it forward. means hopefully passing my econ class. It means working further with the Live Movement to help HBC, other HBCUs and other um, black children around the country, maybe even around the world, to um, move forward and make their schools better, like I'm making my school better. I can imagine also means rest. Correct, <laughs> that part too. I forget about that part a lot, actually. <laughs> Tyler, I'd like to say thank you. Thank you. As a fellow alumni, I am proud, and I'd like to say congratulations. I look forward to your journey. Thank you. Thank you.